Happy birthday, old lady. <laughs> God, what are you up to? Yeah. What time are you gonna? Oh yeah, yeah they're, they're, every, they're everywhere now. Yeah, they got them running all over. Although I think they lost the, uh, they lost the contract with uh, consumers. Not with DTE, with consumers. Oh, they fucked up a bunch of jobs. They, yeah, they had they started their own crew, their OCG crew. So they're having like they're doing their own concrete, and it's terrible. They did a bunch of jobs back in June, and then they just they left the forms in, left barricades up for, for a month. Nobody, no, we went back and picked them up.
certainly that you don't want Aaron Rodgers to have the ball with any time left in the second half to march down the field. But at the same time, you're walking a real razor thin line there because eventually, if things aren't, if you're not going to hit the plays, you're going to start to have the enemy, have the clock as your enemy, and you're going to start forcing things on third and long or second and long, which is exactly what happened. Yeah, and then you get into bigger questions about the, the head coach. Exactly. That's what you said. One of a six year contract. Now, just because you might not agree with his clock management at the end of the first half. I'm not, I'm not burying the guy yet. I'm not cut back on that but, but I'm not, I was not happy with that. I wasn't particularly happy. So you use the term first crack in the foundation. Uh, last night when texting you used the term breaking point. Is that the breaking point or is that the first crack in the foundation? First crack is the Okay. Well, yeah. I because you're not going to talk about it. Maybe you had breaking point for the game. Yeah, I felt like, I felt like, yeah, like yeah, I think for the game, that was the one where I was like, oh, well, this, this is where. Instead of building a bigger lead with a potential touchdown, in, what you've done is you've given them the opportunity to manage the ball in the second half. And so you have also another one of them, and then you finish with the field goal in the first half instead of maybe trying to take more advantage of, of what you had, which was a time advantage on your side to, to work plays. I I probably, if I said break, point, it probably went to six right
and solutions for every industry, experienced staff at local branches, and free access to experts to help answer your toughest questions. So whatever challenge you face, we have the knowledge and products to help. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Heard you're buying a car. I brought my calculator. Dad, I already used Capital One Auto Navigator. I found my car online and got pre-qualified instantly. Instead of all that. You know those things impact your credit score. Didn't impact my credit score, Dad. Now I'm going to the dealership for a test drive and to make the purchase. Hmm, sounds too easy. No, it's just easy. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms and conditions apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash Auto Navigator. I'm Serena Williams. You watch me live on TV. And done that voice for movies you watch on demand. Direct TV stream brought us together to save the world. <coughs> Maybe not save the world, but Direct TV stream does bring your live and on demand favorites together. Your favorites together. I just said that. She just said that. Introducing Direct TV stream, the best of live TV and on demand with no annual contract. Get your TV together at DirectTV.com. Your life, your hopes, and whatever you were searching for at 1.15 a.m., it's really none of our business, and it shouldn't be anyone else's. Protect your privacy online for free with DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. Your opinion matters. Call the D Las Vegas 97.1 The Ticket Studio Line at 248-539-9797. Book your stay at the D by visiting the D.com. The D Las Vegas, the home for Detroit sports in Vegas. There are no sweeter sounds. Hear the game. or maybe even position-wise, exactly where they need to be. Are they better in the slot? Are they better at the Z? Better at the X? You know? And the lights come on, you figure out a lot. You know? We, that's two games down. you got to clean it up. I said again, all right, here, my breaking point, my turning point, I listed the four. Um, the, the, the I think four. potential turning points were last Yes. Um, mine came on the fourth one. Mine came on the fourth one. That, that that was the they're not winning this game moment when they didn't convert convert the fourth one. Um, I didn't particularly like the play call. And that's what I'm going to do today that I never do. And we'll get into the reasons why later. But I also was disappointed because there were guys open on that play. And fortunately, Jared Goff missed him. Yeah. Now, I want to make sure I have this right in that play. That was an empty backfield. No, they had no, three tight ends and a wide receiver, but the running back lined up as a receiver as well. I don't, I don't think it was. Because if it was an empty backfield, I, I think I would have noticed right away. But now, now you've got me second guessing. I know. I know. The bottom of the screen it said three receivers, one tight end, and I thought that the, the backfield was empty and that the running back moved up into a slot. I could be wrong in it, but I, I guess I need to. Make why, sure that why, why, what is there, is it matters there, to me. Yeah, here's why it would matter. Because if it's an empty backfield, there's no threat of the run. Yeah. If if you have a guy in a the backfield, there's the threat of the run. But yeah, I mean, it was it was a lack of execution on on the throw, um, and I don't. It's one of the things I like to ask Jared Goff uh, coming up around who joins us around 10:30. Is was that the the primary option on the play, and that's what he was waiting for him to get open and then throw it, or was that a progression check down? Because right. if he looks to his right, you've got a receiver that's definitely breaking open on the right. Well, and was that the play call, right? Did he get to the line of scrimmage, or was there something to change the play call? Because that's, that's something else that needs to be considered. 248-539-9797. Let's go to Dave in Clinton Township here on 97 on the ticket. Hi, Dave. Hello, folks. Hey. Breaking point in the lineup. There's no reason for Derek Lawrence not to be in the lineup, for Levi not to be making plays right now. So, nobody expects these guys to be that great. So I'm not going to, you know, stay up really upset that they're only two as far as my fun But it's almost like, I think they're playing Riley Green when you got a chance. Like, what the hell are you waiting for? Well, here's the question is, you know, in, in a reasonable world, when 
what is the breaking point from a he's got to be on the field like two games into the season I can get why a couple of rookies one who's been hurt and missed week one with an injury why they aren't on the field a ton or at all um but I at, at some point this year it's going to be you know see what you've got unless they know what they've got isn't good right uh, you know that that's a concern but I yeah I want to see Derek Barnes I want to see Levi and Zarike. uh and yet I feel like even even my frustrations, which I remember my notes, is like, hey, how about Derek Barnes? Uh, you know, I even I know that it's premature for that. When's when's the time where you like you have to see that? Right now, because there's nothing on the line. There's nothing on the line. Like I said, when the lights come on, we got to see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess so, if even if they're clearly not ready, and by the only way you know that is if you're in practice every day. He's gonna be he's gonna be a lot better game one next year if he played yesterday. I don't know about that. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll say this: Do I want to see Derek Barnes? Yep. Watch the game with Kang last night. Kang knows I want to watch. I want to see Derek Barnes. I, you know, Anzalone isn't doing a whole lot for me. Um, not making a whole bunch of plays out there. And if you have the choice of throwing Anzalone out there, not making plays, or Derek Barnes not making plays. I'd rather see Derek Barnes not making plays because you drafted him. At least he has the chance to, to get better and better. And as has been in the league for a long time, so I wouldn't expect him to all of a sudden, oh, hey, it clicks here. Um, that being said, I can understand why you wouldn't start him from day one, but I would have expected him to at least see the field in game two. Doesn't have to start, but how about putting him in? Yeah, you know, it's funny. First of all, you know, guys – that are it, it, when you're in practice, and I, I found this when I one year <laughs> I was allowed into the Michigan practice. I don't need to go back to that all the time, but I was allowed into practice and it answered a lot of questions about why guys weren't playing when you could see practice and see, you know, the level of, of learning that they were still doing. And so, you know, it, I, I did a lot less second guessing about the lineups when I actually got a chance to see practice. Um, so I do wonder. You know, what it takes, you know, where are they with him, with Derek Barnes, how close is he? I mean, hands alone, ain't let him in tackles, but he struggled. He was making tackles downfield, he was beating coverage. And if they're, if everything's equal, you play the rookie. If everything's equal, you play the rookie. And then there's the other thing that coaches talk about is ruining a guy's confidence is one, putting him in the field when they're not ready and they, they're completely lost. And the other is handing people playing time before they've checked all the boxes to deserve it. What message are you sending to the young guy? Saying, hey, you haven't done what we've asked, but we're going to play anyway. You haven't done you know, the, the things that we put out there. These are explanations. I don't know if I agree with them, but these are explanations I've heard in the past. Right. I mean, I'll go back to the one player that I was, I remember, so desperately wanted to see take the field and never really got that chance to play. And I was like, the team's not good. Just play it. Let's show everybody that he's not good, I guess. And that was Mike Williams when they drafted him. He was a wide receiver, and he couldn't see the field. And we're all like banging our heads against him. We're like, why are we able to see him? Then eventually we get to see him, and we're like, oh yeah, fair enough. Kang, you've you confirmed it was not an empty backfield on fourth and one. Yes, okay. good. Thank you. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Anthony's out of cell. He's next. Hi, Anthony. Hey guys. So I actually uh, came away very encouraged Dan Campbell and the time management, as well as a lot of the uh, broken tendencies that he had throughout the. saves me from totally eviscerating it is that 
I do understand that you, as you call it, the double dip. You don't want to give Aaron Rodgers time, and they didn't give Aaron Rodgers time. They did end up getting points. So it was successful, and yet I felt like it's still the turning point of the game because well, after the game didn't... I, I, I mean, I was hoping we were going to end up with seven and not, and not three, and that sends a much different message going into halftime. After the game, did Dan Campbell say we expected it to be a shootout? I didn't hear. Yeah, I... I well, he kind of blamed the offense. The on, he said the onus is on the offense. We've got to score more points. That's how that game was going. So yes, well, I'll go where you didn't go, Gator. I hated it. I know Z didn't like it. I hated it. There's no, they weren't in, in the absolute field of range. As you saw, he missed the first try. <laughs> Secondly, you, I'm sorry, the Lions offense is so good they might score touchdowns too fast. There's no gimme on this team. You have to score touchdowns when you can. And, yes, you don't want Aaron Rodgers to have the ball back. But guess what? If you score a touchdown... Make him score, you know, make him score then. I mean, you, you can't be like, oh, we'll settle for a 50 or 40 yard field goal. Like I said, they weren't even in field goal range yet, and they missed the first try. Yeah, it was 43 or something, yeah. Uh, Jared Goff, Lions quarterback, will join us coming up shortly. Get his two cents on what happened last night. 97 on the ticket. Kick off the new pro football season with the kick of sports books. You can sign up with BetMGM using bonus code GATOR, and your first wager is totally risk free up to $1,000. Join the action for all the Gridiron Showdowns from Thursday through Monday night each week. When you register with the Bet MGM, you'll also get instant access to a variety of parlay selection features, live betting options, player props, and daily boosted odd specials on some of the biggest games. From hard-hitting tackles to epic touchdowns, the King of Sportsbooks takes every play to a whole new level of excitement. Simply download the Bet MGM app today or... Go to BetMGM.com and enter bonus code GATOR and you'll get back up to $1,000 on your very first wager. New customer offer, paid in free bets. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. You must be 21 or older, Michigan only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. This excludes Michigan disassociated persons. electric vehicles, establishing greener factories, working with responsibly sourced building materials. At Ford, there are a lot of things that we're proud to be doing for our planet, but we're just as proud to invest in the one thing that makes everything else possible, our community. Whether we're investing $13 million into local community centers, establishing scholarships for high school seniors heading to college, or improving access to quality dental care through Motor City Cares, these are the things we do in service of our hometown. Because even though we build for the future of the planet, it all starts right here with the Motor City. The Ford Motor Company. Build for America. Build Ford Proud. Combining almost 75 years of local business with resources of 550 stores across the U.S., Builders First Source and John's Lumber are experts in windows and door installation. Add value and beauty to your home with trusted brands like Anderson, Jugwin, Thermatru, and more. Then have your new windows and doors installed properly the first time with John's expert installation team. Find them at their Metro Detroit locations in Clinton Township and Shelby Township. Call 833-GO-JOHNS. Now, John's is more than lumber. Hi, welcome to Everything Outdoors. Can I help you find anything? Hey, yeah. Can you point us to the camping gear? Sure, aisle two. Snowboarding? Just bought a new Nissan Pathfinder. It's got intelligent 4x4 and we want to hit the backcountry. Aisle 18. And the boats? Are you sure you can do all this? Up to 6,000 pounds towing, we're good to go. Oh, where's the scuba gear? Return to rugged in the all-new 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. Available intelligent 4x4 cannot prevent collisions or provide enhanced traction in all conditions. Always monitor traffic and weather conditions. Towing capability varies by configuration. See Nissan owner's manual for proper use. Progressive's Home and Auto Bundle Extrava Vesta Cyphathon. The annual year-long event for saving big on Home and Auto Insurance. These savings are available up the tail and straight through Labor Day. Halloween. Clover Treatment's birthday. Taco Tuesday. The anniversary of the moon landing. White Chocolate Day. The sale literally never ends. You can come on Jupiter's Ascension. National Pisces Day. But not Leap Day. <laughs> Just kidding. We're doing Leap Day because every day is perfect for saving money with a home and auto bundle, poly and progressive. But for real, we're not doing white chocolate day because white chocolate is gross. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates. Discounts not available in all states or situations. This hour of instant feedback brought to you by Mike Papura of National Benefit Plans. For affordable health insurance, call 877-734-2200. Get the latest sports news and insights.
inside information about Michigan and Michigan State on the Five Star Zone with Rico Beard. Download it today on the Odyssey app.